Good morning. You are speaking to us a minute after we woke up. <laughs> <laughs> we are feeling a little bit worse for wear this morning. Um, and that is because yesterday we met up with Sam and Gabby from Lindy Vanna. They introduced us to the traditional Lithuanian uh, spirit. Sukhtanes. is 50%. That apparently Which makes you dance. In folk makes dance. you dance. We managed to resist the urge, but it is fifty percent, and we finished off most of a bottle last night. Mary Berry makes this. It's, uh, it's, Baking. it's a type of that, Baking. and it's uh, nice and squidgy. Squidgy. Uh, it's very <laughs> soft. Buttery biscuit base. No, it's the type of what you said. Butter. No, you said biscuit. the second word is base. like something that Mary Berry loves and has recipe Cake. books. Yeah. The first word is like soft, squidgy, light. Oh, uh, Victoria. Sponge cake. Sorry, yeah. Morning! Oh, it's a nice breeze out there. Well, how did you sleep? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, so this is Sam. Well. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Lost in transit. Coffee? Yeah, love a coffee. Always. Yeah. Oh, yes, I really. love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So these guys are starting what we've just finished. So they are <laughs> about to go and catch a ferry. They're going up through Finland up to the north of Norway and then down along through the coast of Norway. So if you want to see someone else's point of view on what we've just done, go and follow them. Uh, they're on YouTube. Called Lindy, Lindy Vanna. Vanna. Guys, come and see that beautiful van. We are very muddy last night with our shoes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no wow. So this is Gabby, on behalf of Lindy Vanna. <laughs> and this is Faisy. This is Sam is treating us to it. Coffee in the van. I've just sort of made myself at home, settling in, and uh, now we're getting cooked breakfast. <laughs> There's a big bug in here. Come on, get out. Right. I'm not actually scared of it for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, down the gate. I love if you just jump out with your socks. <laughs> Way! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a wimp. <laughs> It's good stuff, isn't it? We're having such a nice time with these guys, we don't want to leave, but we have to make some headway to get to Lithuania. Um, we only have 27 days left on our Schengen agreement, so and then we have to leave the Schengen area. So we want to get to Lithuania today. But the great thing is, Gabby's from Lithuania, so she's giving us loads of tips. Um, so we've got lots of spots on the map that they've recommended and we've learned a bit about the history so it's been it's been really great but yet again another very very nice spot it's been so nice catching up with these guys meeting some people on the road other people living in vans and stuff we haven't seen all that many people really last night it was pouring with rain so we didn't really get to enjoy it but today the sun's come out and this place is really nice yet another beautiful baltic park up um today we're actually going to leave latvia and we're heading into lithuania cheers then ah yeah. so good to see you Bye. See you later. See you, uh, bye. Bye. Hopefully we'll see you again bye. in the south of Europe yeah. after you've done your loop. Let so yeah, us know what you time. think of uh, we'll Norway. We are completely out of our water that we use for like cleaning and stuff. Washing up. Washing up. Uh, so we need to find a tap. We also need to empty our grey water because it's very full and in this heat it gets pretty smelly uh, so we're pretty keen to do that and also we probably need to empty the toilet as well we do need to find services it is quite hard here we might have to book onto a campsite so that is it we've crossed the border we're now in lithuania uh, latvia was brilliant i had a great time there so after a slightly annoying detour because my maps decided to change the pin we are here in this car park and i've just spotted there's three storks on this Lamp post. Also, I'm wearing my new Humana little play suit. I really like it. Four euros. I got it in Riga. Hi. Here we are at a very special and important place for Lithuania's culture and history the Hill of Crosses, with over 100,000 crucifixes at this site. So in the 1800s, Lithuania was being ruled by the Russian Empire. There was a couple of revolutions where the Lithuanians attempted to regain their sovereignty. They were unsuccessful and lots of people died, but they weren't able to locate the bodies of all the victims. So what they did instead was start to put crosses on this hill. <music> 
Later on in Lithuanian history, the Soviet Union occupied Lithuania. And during that time, nearly all forms of religious or national identity and pride was not allowed. So this site became a symbol of Lithuania's withstanding culture and national pride. It was destroyed a few times by the Soviet Union who didn't like that they were doing this. It was bulldozed I think three times and they even had plans to flood the entire area. People kept coming, kept putting crosses up. Uh, the Baltic countries have some of the most amazing stories of non-violent revolution. These three countries were occupied by the Soviet Union. They started what is known as the singing revolution and the people came together and sang for their independence. Two million people from all three countries, they held hands forming a chain connecting the three capital cities. So two million people over 420 miles long this chain was and they sang. And these songs have been banned under the Soviet Union so it was a real strong act of defiance and the Soviet Union caved in and had to give them their independence. It's such an amazing story. We watched Kara and Nate's video when they came here and they planted a cross. So we're gonna try and find the exact spot where they planted the cross and see if it still is there. Let's go. This is where I have to make a right. So I think we've located it. They put this cross here four years ago. Um, it says, it doesn't say anything on it anymore. In their video, they said to sign the cross if we find it. So we're gonna write a little message. Thanks, Cara and Nate, you inspire us a lot and we're gonna pop this back in the ground. I can't believe we managed to find Cara and Nate's cross. <laughs> um, when they put it in the ground in the video, I thought that's not gonna stay up for very long. And it was still standing when we found it. We managed to put it back in the same hole as well. We need to sort out our services. It's pretty hard to find stuff here in the Baltics, but Isabel's been looking and she's managed to find us a place where we can do all our services and stuff. It's like a campsite, but it's only like 10 pounds a night. We've arrived at our little free camp spot. It's brilliant, it's got toilets and showers and the owners were super friendly, came up and welcomed us and they said they're gonna turn the hot water on for us. Uh, so we'll have a hot shower in two hours, which is such a treat. I'm actually trying to think when I last had a proper, like, hot shower. <laughs> I actually didn't know. Well, Because I, I had one when I went back to the UK and stayed with mum. Yeah, I think I had one in Northern Norway. <laughs> so I last shower. Stinky. Oh, I know, before the wedding in the hotel room. Oh, uh, yeah, before the yeah, wedding. Yeah, we I snuck into Lars so, and Christa's yeah, room and had a hotel shower. I had one two weeks shower. ago. What are we talking about? The owners just bought the hose over for us so we can fill up our tanks, which is great because we've been out of water the whole of yesterday so we weren't able to do any washing up. Yeah. It's, it's all here in the museum. Oh, we live, we oh, live yeah. in the museum. This is the museum, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. In Norway I showed you some of my expertise at plumbing with my gaffer tape. But today uh, the balloon that it stops our water from spilling out of the tank actually broke. So I've got a new balloon. I'm gonna do some more plumbing. No, I want They look really nice and cold. I can't drink that, it's too big. Can I have the metal one? You are a spoiled little brat. Do you see what's happening, guys? Here you go, Princess Thank Isabel, you your water. <laughs> Right, now I've sorted out Queen Isabel. Um, I'm going to go and find these showers. These are actually quite modern buildings. Apparently they used to have another barn just over the way that it caught fire. So they've built all of these ones more recently, but they've done a really good job. It's all like really nice uh, timber and it's just a yeah really lovely covered area. Apparently this shed here, they actually have quite a lot of concerts here and stuff and like traditional music. Um, it seems like a really cool place. I would love to have arrived when there was some music playing and stuff. So it's like pretty like, I guess you could say rustic, but I love it. Wow, that was so good. It feels so good to be clean again. Oh, it's so nice here. 
the sun is going down and there's swallows flying over the field catching insects and we're just on this like forested little patch in the middle of just fields like fields as far as you can see and to get here you actually had to go down quite a long dirt path like we were driving on a dirt road for like a good while wow i can't believe this place is truly it's so beautiful so that was amazing that shower um i felt a bit bad because we're the only ones here on the campsite so i was taking my time i like locked the door and had the whole bathroom to myself a bit of a spa session in there, but um, this woman was waiting. She must live here and wanted a shower. I didn't realise that other people use that shower. I just thought it was for the campsite, so it was a little bit awkward. Um, but yeah, all clean, squeaky clean, feels good. Gave it a little Google, and it turns out this was like an old manor house, and some famous um, Lithuanian writers lived here, and then some like artists and stuff, and apparently there's like a, can he built a canal here, and there's like a canal boat, because he, he wanted to read his wife poetry. But yeah, it's such nice, so beautiful here. It's really nice. And it's so peaceful. We're going to go brush our teeth. We get off to the bathroom. Um, uh, Isabel is, <laughs> she's pretending she's being brave, but she's very scared that there's frogs. I'm a bit scared. It, this, they come out at night and it's, you know, it's a perfect climate for it. So it is perfect around. climate. Yeah, I think there's pretty quite there's a lot. There's quite a few out there. Yeah, I think there's a lot. I'm psyching myself up for this because I could just brush my teeth in here, but I want to make the most having a bathroom. <laughs> oh my god, we're just going to stay in the frogs. Stop it. We're all going to have frogs. Why are you saying that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. 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 Lindy Vanna do to me? <laughs> I finally got up. I've got the worst headache. Oh, oh no. This is like a piercing headache. This oh no. sweet hangover, late, late time hangover. But um, can I brush my teeth, please? You're holding the toothbrush. Yes. Blue for pink for girls, blue for boys. I was gonna Wouldn't say blue for legends. Blue for legends, pink for blue heads. <laughs> 